Hi my dear friends today we will discuss about the timing diagram of minimum mode memory read operation right so please try to understand minimum mode memory read operation right so we are drawing the timing diagrams for each mode right that is minimum mode memory read operation right so for this you please try to understand so first one is what minimum mode first one is minimum mode so when minimum mode means what we have to put we have to put that is mn by mx bar pin we are using mn by mx bar pin is we are using so we are using one uh, that is four clock cycles that is four clock cycles that if you understand this is one two three and four right so first mn by mx bar let us consider this is t1 t2 t3 and t4 right 33 percent is on 66 percent is off of so we are using how much 18 mega that is 6 megahertz 6 megahertz clock right so when we are in first clock first i already told first clock first we are accessing the address in the remaining clock first that is we are accessing the we are accessing the data right so for this you have to understand totally four points that is first step in the first step if you observe in the first step out of 1 mb out of 1 mb of memory out of 1 mb memory from where we have to read from where we have to read that means so in the first step we are using the where out, we are adding 1 mb of memory 1 mb of memory where from where we have to add, read the data that is first step now coming to the second step coming to the second step processor need to stay processor need to say i am going to read so that means i am going to read so how we can perform read operation by putting rd bar to low bar d bar to low now coming to the third step first one is so the address we are accessing the address the second one is perform read operation how we can perform put the low after reading the operation we have to data transmission data transfer data transfer from memory to memory to microprocessor memory to microprocessor next after data transmitting what happened process need to capture the data processor need to capture the data processor need to capture the data see these are the four steps in the first step what happened out of 1 mb of memory from where we have to read and that that one we have to tell the processor second step after uh, after knowing the data so how we can perform processor need to say i am going to read then we have to perform rd bar is put to low then third one data transfer from memory to micro that is called propagation time that is called propagation time after transmitting the data processor need to capture the data processor need to capture the data now if you go for the timing diagram see this is the timing diagram for memory read operation right so totally we are having four totally we are having how many clock pulses four clock pulses we write t1 and t2 and t3 and t4 see mn by mx bar mn by mx bar what we have which operation we are performing we are performing minimum minimum mode means this is put to high so that's why i am putting this to high that's why i am putting this to high right c next and next one is what is the next one i o r memory which operation we are performing memory operation which operation we are performing memory memory operation i o bar by m memory means we have to put high put the memory into high position next where we are transmitting or receiving the data data transmitting or receiving you please tell me we are performing read read operation means remember read operation means remember that is receiving read means receive write means transmitting write means transmitting right so how we can put we have to put r bar is there that's why active low we have to put to g then we have to put one then you can put the zero so r bar should be zero r d bar that means r bar should be zero then only we can try we can receive the signal if you want to transmit, transmit means write. Write means what? We have to put high. Right? Next. And next one is, that's why I am putting this one is low. 
then a uh, next step what in the first uh, first step what i told from where we have to access the data out of 1 mb so here then first clock pulse it tells about the address it, uh, in the first clock pulse it tells about the address see that is address and from the second clock pulse it will be zero that means ale ale you have to put uh, uh, when al is equal to 1 when al is equal to 1 means at the time we are accessing the address we are accessing the address when it is zero when it is zero means we are accessing the data we are accessing the data right you please try to understand when it is al is uh, low means what al is low means we are with this this we are accessing the data then see address ad15 to ad0 there is data so this time so under which time we are transmitting see at this read bar read bar means we have to when the data is second step is what read read bar should be low so at that time we have transmitting so then we have to put data enable data enable is put to zero data enable zero means we have to uh, enable the, the data enable the data then we have to transmit the data after that we have to send the ready signal after that we have to send the ready signal right what we have to understand first one is m n by m x bar put the height whether we are performing memory operation or IO operation, memory operation. So that's why we put high. Data transmitter receive, receive, read, read means receiving, receiving means you put zero. Right? In the first clock first, we are accessing the address. Right? We are accessing the address. A D not A, this is A. A address. This is called address. And this is called data. This is called data. Now A L is one for first clock first. Next clock first, we have putting the data. So in this way, this is the memory read operation. Now if you come to memory write operation, see memory write, same, everything is same, memory and write. In the same clock first, we are operating minimum mode, that's why we are putting m n by m x bar high and memory, that's why we are performing petting high and write operation. See, here we are performing write, so that means dt is equal to 1, dt is equal to 1, then only we are performing write operation. That is the main difference between read and write. Right, AL is 1. There in the read operation we are using RD, here we are using write operation. Data enabled here and ready signal. Everything is same except DT transmit and receive and write bar. Everything is same. Data write. Right. So this is about the timing diagram for the minimum mode for the memory read and write operation. In the next session we will discuss about maximum mode configuration of 8086. Until then, thank you my dear friends.